Brendan, what the heck? What? Gail, where, where are we? What are we doing outside? I, I like it. <laughs> I it's like probably it getting warm here in Seattle. Can't we do this every time? Yeah. Oh, geez, I wish. I could just see us with a big extension cord coming from the building out to the picnic <laughs> table with a machine on it. Yeah. What do you got going on? Okay, we got a bunch of outdoor gear here. Oh, Since yeah, it's summer. Yeah, yeah, we're approaching yeah. the summer here. I'm sure we have a lot of... Um, you know, coffee drinkers, coffee lovers who also like the outdoors. They kind of go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. um, but essentially all our products that we have here are conducive for hiking or camping or any sort of, you know, outdoor activity. Are they lightweight? Does that, is that part of the deal? Or? Yeah, they're lightweight. So um, I know backpackers they, like everything light. Exactly. Like and they, they kind of all collapse kind of conveniently. Oh. Um, but essentially, let's go through these one by one here. We have this, this type of press thermos. Um, which is very nice. It's called their Java Press. Mm -hmm. um, the lid comes right Are off. Are these here. all made by the same company? Yeah, it's, they're all made by GSI Outdoors. Okay. Um, so essentially, this is a type of French press. And here's here's your actual screen and filter oh, right yeah, here. Yeah. Um, here's the rest of the oh, yeah. thermos. There's and a, your gasket. Yeah. Yep. Um, you put your coffee right down there, followed by your water. Put this guy right back in um, and press, and then you have your coffee here in the in the middle channel. Oh, gotcha. Uh, um, and, and then you have your lid there, so you can just drink right out of that. So this lid, I see it has a, I was just looking at it, it has a mm -hmm. clothes on it. It's got a little hook got for your hook. carabiner if you want to hook it on Ooh. your backpack. Everything comes off for easy cleaning, so we have this rubber foot so it, you know, doesn't slip away. And these, this material right here is all recycled material. Recycled plastic? Mm-hmm. Oh, so that once was a yogurt yogurt <laughs> container, right? <laughs> hopefully, exactly. Hopefully something good. <laughs> Better not taste like it. Yeah, right. Huh? Um, one thing that I thought was cool is I think typically with the French press, we see the screen just meets up with the edges directly. Yes. But yeah. this actually has a, a, a gasket there. Yeah, which I like I thought that. was cool because yeah. sometimes grounds have a tendency to get around the edges. Well, and sometimes the screen gets mangled too. Yeah, I've exactly. Seen that. Oh, that's get nice. Bent. That looks like a, uh, a plastic screen. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like anyway. So that's cool. Yeah, I that's, like it. That'll make a nice cup of coffee. Um, this is 10.4 ounces. This is out of this lineup right here. This is the heaviest thing. I know Mother's Day is coming up shortly. And this video might not be posted for Mother's Day, but Father's Day is shortly thereafter, right? Yeah, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah, so bear that in mind for your gift giving. Okay, now we have our grinder. Okay. Hand grinder. Oh, net, where's the cord? Come on. <laughs> I want a cord. How do you do it? <laughs> okay, so right now it's collapsed just for storage. Uh huh. Um, and essentially, what you do to get grinding here is you take your handle, you take the silicone grip, and you switch it around, which they make very easy to do. Oh uh, yeah, sure. And then you place this right in here, and now you're ready to grind. Let's which show. Is, which yeah. is very convenient. Is it easy? Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty easy. Do it. It's really it. easy if you hold the weight down. Yeah. There, there oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not too bad. It's a it's a great product. It's so a, then the bottom, I see the bottom comes off. Yep, there's your, that's there's what you that, just ground up. That's what I just did, mm -hmm. which is not very much. We kind of calibrated it to uh, the, the drip setting. Oh, tell me about the calibration on okay, it. Okay, so yeah, we have uh, ceramic burrs in here, conical mm. ceramic burrs, which is great. Um, and it is a step grinder. So as right now, I'm gonna go more coarse going to the left and, I, and each I can feel each click when it stops. And then to the right is making it a little more coarse. Let me try it. Yeah, you can. It's a kind of a big step, but you oh, but, yeah. you, but you little, feel it click. You can feel it click. Yeah. In. You can even. And you if you point. and if you hold it this way and kind of let gravity do its thing, you can actually see these burrs yeah, separating. Down. Yeah, as you yep. do it. Oh yeah. You very, can see the amount. Very much um, so. So yeah. it's 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 kind of cool in that sense because you, you have so much that? control. Well, we we well. did it on its finest setting earlier, and man, can you get it fine with this? <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to, you can yeah. make some Turkish coffee while you're camping. Or you could, let's try French press. Let's see what that, oh, let's yeah. take it up to course and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, a lot easier too. Exactly. This is the kind of coffee I want when I go camping. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, totally different. So I think that's really cool. You, you, have, you have a lot of control in terms of how coarse it is. Yep, nice. Which you probably wouldn't expect to be able to do while you're no. camping. No, no. And I think this one... Um, Real this, nice. This one's 9.3 mm. ounces. This is the second heaviest product okay. out of the four. All right. And then look at this little guy. Isn't that cute? When I first saw this, this reminded me of my parents' old coffee percolating thing when we would go camping, oh, yeah, yeah. except just yeah. an espresso version of it. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it, you, you just let's take this thing apart and see what we got going here. So this thing brews 
you know, a cup of espresso, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and so you put your water in here. Um, it goes right on the stove top. It's just like a regular stove top then. Exactly. And then you, you put your, you know, your grounds in there. Yep. Instead of going up into a top portion, though, it just goes up in through this uh, spigot down yep. into the cup. Nice. And I did notice on their website, this gasket right here is replaceable. Oh, nice. You know, so it's kind of cool that they have that support there uh, for if, you know, that goes bad, if you're using it a lot while you're camping. So when it sits all winter. Yep. So nice. we'll put this back on and then we actually have a cup that we can show you guys here. Mm -hmm. And it yeah, just kind of sits right there. And look at that. You could actually have espresso while on you're camping. Go. Nice. And what, what do they call that? Uh, glamping. Glorified camping. <laughs> glamping. I don't, know if, I don't know if you can tell people that you had espresso while you were camping. They're going to think you went to the cafe down the road. Yeah, right. Um, and what was this one? This one was 8.2 ounces. Mm -hmm. So that's the... That's the weight on that. And now this is, I really, really, really like this. This one's my that's favorite. That's a uh, frisbee? Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Yeah. Go Let's long, go. Gail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go long. Um, uh, go gump. So, go gump. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pour over. And look at this. It's completely collapsible. Oh, wow. Let me see that. I got to feel it. Touch it. Oh, yeah. So you get a, wow. a, a number could... four filter and put say, it right in here. I was going to say, that's big. Yeah, and this acts, they say this acts as a trivet for anything hot. This won't melt. Um, and, wow. then it, and then it's a lid also if you want to kind of keep the steam trapped in there after it's... Goes right down to nothing. Exactly. And this thing makes up to 1 to 12 cups of coffee. Oh, jeez. Which is a lot. 1 to 12, 2 ounce? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, I really like this. You know, I'm a Chemex guy at home. Yeah. This could kind of bring my Chemex practices on the road when I go camping, which is great. Um, and I think out of the four products today that we're going to do, we're going to do these these two right here. We're going to grind up a bunch of pour over and then, uh, coffee and pour it, it over in here. Um, so what we're going to do right now is take a little break and get all this set up and yeah. let you guys know what we get. Nice. Okay. Okay, how's it coming, Gail? Oh, geez. Pretty good. It's a good thing I have muscles. <laughs> so um, we weighed this a little bit earlier. And what we determined was up to this line, is 15 grams of coffee. Mm -hmm. So that's... Hey, wait, hold on. Wait, me... Oh, you're going to pre-wet it. I'm going to pre-wet right. the filter here. I forgot here. about that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> stop, 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 Gail, stop. You're getting ahead of me, Gail. And you're going to do the cup too that way. Exactly. Kind of heat up the cup a little bit. Yep. Let that fall down, then I'll dump that water out. That looks good. There we go. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, don't, we don't bring down the ideals when we're camping, do we, Gail? No. <laughs> Not at all. No. no. Get rid of that. Water the lawn. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're ready to go. Okay, now you want the coffee. So we got 15 grams there. We're just going to make one cup right now. You know, if you wanted, if you were brewing for a group of people, you'd probably want to put, you know, three total oh, of those in. At least. You know. And for me? I like this size too. Obviously, this thing can sit on multiple. Big cups. Yeah. Maybe and even... for me, I'd put three in for one little cup for me. That's how I like Gale. it. Gail. Like it's strong. It shows. I hope you have the half and half. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Okay, let's get that. I'm going to just let it sit for a minute, kind of let it steep. Yeah, and, uh, and then I'll go a little more. Bloom. There we go. That's what I'm looking We're for. We're in the woods. It's blooming. Let, let, let the coffee grounds bloom. That's right. Okay, now as soon as some of those bubbles near the top start to pop, which they are, then I'll, what I read, that's a good time to really add all your water. I don't know how much of a difference that makes, but... We're camping, right, Gail? That's right. That's, All we need is the caffeine. It's probably pretty good, huh? I'm going to leave it right about there. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we're, we're camping. Exactly. That's all that matters. That's about all I'm going to do. That looks good. It looks like oh, it's yeah. making a nice cup that? of drip. I mean, you know what you're going to have, though? All the people in the next campsite over looking for coffee. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can keep this. You can put the lid on there to keep it. Hotter. After all, you're out in the you're outside. Yeah, you might attract the neighbors. The Here campsite over. Here they come over. now. <laughs> <laughs> neighbors coming over want some coffee. Yeah, I know. They're gonna want the half and half too, you know, mm -hmm. just like I do. And I'm not gonna let them. Uh. <laughs> they get it black. Well, I really like it. I think it's really convenient. I think it's uh, I think it makes you know when you're camping, you want everything to be easy cleanup. You yeah. know, easy to get out, and all of this stuff is oh, yeah, just that. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I see that this on the bottom of this travel uh, press that it has uh, recycle. It's mm -hmm. all made out of good stuff. 
Yeah. GSI did a good job. Where, where's the company located? I don't, you know, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know either. I don't know. Cool. They're relatively new products for us, but I'm, I'm really yeah. happy we picked them up. We're, we're close. Yeah. We almost got a brownie situation going on here. <laughs> Who gets the cup of coffee? That's what I want to know. Oh, you do. You made it. <laughs> Gail's so nice. <laughs> Out of all these, which one would you which one would you want the most? I would probably do the uh, the this one, the pour over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I'm not a much of a travel mug person, but yep. I know a lot of people are. I just want, in fact, that would be the perfect amount for me. Yeah, about that much coffee in the morning. Yep, it was perfect. I'm the same way. I think I would I would go with the grinder and the pour over, yep. but just because that's my my personal taste. I'm more of a drip guy than an espresso guy. Yep. Um, of course. I might have this along as an option. Yeah, exactly. You could always have someone with you that's more of an espresso drinker. Well, you get more company yeah. coming over from the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> and then the banner goes up, you know, hot coffee over here kind of a thing. <laughs> could open up our own stand when we're camping. That's it. <laughs> I'm not going camping with you. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll go. Maybe. Is it still dripping? Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, just a little. I want to taste it. Longer extraction time, stronger coffee. Yeah, true, huh? Put the lid back on. Don't want it to get cold. Well, I like them. I think I think GSI did a great job. Yeah, I agree. I like it. I think we're going to be carrying a nice stainless steel cup that goes with this eventually. Whoop! Hey. Oh, well, there goes the well. silicone handle. <laughs> yep, we'll get that in a minute. I just wanted to see how it worked. Ooh, the dog just ran off with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good here, huh? What yeah. do you think? Yeah, let's just set this down on this like that and let's try it. I'm going first. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. What kind of coffee is this, do you know? I don't know. Hope it's Twilight, my favorite. Uh-oh, did I say that? Oh, that's really good. Actually, Twilight is up. one of my favorites. You try that. You try it, it's yeah. really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Where's my half and half, though? But you know what? For black coffee, I could drink that black. That's really yeah, no, good. Yeah, you're right. It's very easy really to drink. Good. It's not too acidic. Mm -mm. Um, very nice. Really nice. With the great thing about pour overs is you can, you know, mm. you determine how strong you want it. So That's it, true. We, we didn't make the strongest cup of coffee. No, but it's, it's nice. It's delicious. It's just very for good. one person. This could be yep. for one person or eight. You're going to chase that dog down for the silicone handle, or do I have to do it? I'm not chasing them down. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll go do it. All right. Well, thanks a lot for showing me this stuff. You know, I hadn't uh, seen any of this stuff before. I'm really impressed. Now I we like gotta it. Get, our, get our camping trip all planned. Seattle Coffee Year. That's right. Camping trip. Hey, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Get them all out there where the bears can get at them. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, Take coffee care. lovers. Yep.